Hello Vintage Lovers, today I'm gonna review the Marantz ST300 Tuner, the PM200 Amplifier and the SD1000 Cassette Deck. So what do we have here? Well it's the Marantz Tuner with the same Giro knob as the old Marantz's, only this one is not that smooth. You can see doesn't work that smooth as the old Marantz's so but that's not important not that important the knobs feel very very decent good build we have here the tape source selector yes phono tuner tape aux what can we say well it is 2 times 35 watt so pretty strong and uh, uh, connected to my 4 ohm 05 magnet speakers, it sounds very, very decent. Let, 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 let's try it out. Als het over je pensioen gaat, is het wel belangrijk dat je er iets van begrijpt. Dat al nooit helpt met tips waarop je moet letten bij je pensioenoverzicht in gewoon Nederlands. Kijk op deltaloid.nl slash kritisch. Kritisch. Op het juiste moment, deltaloid. En de ruimte voor de tv. <laughs> Gelukkig heb ik Telford ontdekt. Dat is... Ja. Oké, okay, what I find out. Before I tested this before, the sound is very good. I didn't expect this from the uh, 79 model, but uh, the sound is very good. It's not that impressive uh, like my 2218, but it's pretty good. Only the, the knobs need some deoxid uh, contact 90 because uh, they are a little bit cracking and it's normal for these kind of machines. And uh, uh, so you have to remove the faceplate and uh, give all the pot meters some, some deoxid or, uh, or, 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 or contact 90, it depends which country you are. Like you can see, it have only the possibility for two speakers. Yeah, so it, you, you can't put four speakers in on this one. And uh, <clears throat> what more do we have? We have uh, uh, the phono, of course, uh, the turntable connection, you have your, uh, your tuner, you have your tape uh, 2, and you have your tape 1. And uh, well, that's it. Okay, we go back to the front. <clears throat> and what can we say more about this thing? Well, one thing, it sounds very nice, it's smooth, it sounds better than my modern, much more expensive amplifier and it's, 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 it's yeah, it's, it's decent, it, it, it missed some highs and mids, but the bass section is pretty good and it's not that, that boomy bass, it's a nice warm soft bass, but it missed a little bit high and a little bit mids in the end. Okay, what can we say about the tuner? Well, uh, I didn't test it on the cable connection, but uh, with its own antenna, it's not that strong as my 22118. It, uh, it receives about half the stations what I can receive on my 2218. So it's not that strong tuner, but I also didn't expect it was that good. And uh, uh, I can only receive a few stereo radio stations on this one, like you can see. It isn't that strong, this tuner, no. No. Yes, we have one stereo here. But also, even if you have a stereo receivement, uh, uh, there's a lot of interference uh, from, from the outside, so it's not very clear. So once again, I didn't test this on my cable connection, just the, the antenna from the receiver itself, and uh, it's not that strong. And I also don't like the tuner. It, it, the, the old Marances have the, the lights coming from the, from the back, the blue light, it's very nice. And this one just have a light here and uh, it only lights the place where you have the tuning dial and I don't like this, uh, the, the, these looks I, uh, it's, it's, it's good, it works the amplifier is okay yeah and uh, in comparing with my old Marantz well 
Uh, they tell it's two times 35 watt, but my old Marans from two times 18 watt is stronger than this baby. So also that is a big lie. And uh, but the set is pretty decent. It's okay uh, uh, for it's, it's it's cheap, and so you have you have nice material for cheap. Don't, don't pay more as. Uh, I would say $50 for a set like this. It, it isn't worth, worth more than $50. And uh, at least I wouldn't pay more than $50 for a set like this. And uh, I see them going on the internet for uh, sometimes far above $100. But yeah, if people want to pay more than $100, it's up to them. But uh, I wouldn't pay more than $50 for a thing like this. It's, 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 it's it, don't, it don't have the quality you can you expect from Marantz. It's, it's, it's a 1979 build, but it's different. It's not the real Marantz. And so, uh, well, thank you for now. Uh, if you want to see more reviews from uh, Vintage Audio, just uh, describe on my channel and I will be back soon with another review from uh, old Vintage uh, for, the, for the lovers, of course. Thank you for now. Bye-bye.